Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look here. I get tons of requests to do an eyeliner tutorial and I'm going to do one. But first I decided to show you guys how to do a eyelinerless look. What? I know that it can be so hard to get that wing sometimes, so I promise you guys that my next video will be an eyeliner tutorial so I can show you my tricks. And today I'm going to show you how to achieve this very very soft, natural, smoky eye without including any eyeliner and still look fierce. I don't know if fierce is the correct word. Whatever, you get what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so I already did my foundation and today actually I mixed the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in shade 235 with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I think that this is the shade 51. Yeah, it's the 51. It's the lightest one they have. Lately, I've been trying to find a good drugstore foundation and I've been testing some of them. So if I find something really good and something that I really like, I'm going to let you guys know for sure. Today, actually, I wanted to try only the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, but it was too dark for me, so I had to mix it with something lighter. But I actually really like the combination of these two. I love the finish and the coverage is pretty enough for me. So I'm going to see how it goes till I finish up the video. I hope they don't crease, I hope they don't oxidize. But yeah, so far I really like how they make my skin looks. So yeah. I also did my eyebrows, so if you want to see how I do them, you can click here and go and watch my eyebrow tutorial. Now I'm going to conceal my under eye area and I'll be using two concealers. First I'm applying the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours Concealer in shade Light Beige Glare. And then on top of it I'm going with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and it's in shade Ivory. I'm blending them out with my Beauty Blender. And then really quickly I'm setting them with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade Transparent. Okay, so now I'm going to do the eye makeup and then I'll go back to the face. And the first thing that I'm going to do is of course prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pad. And then I'm just setting it in place with the nude eyeshadow. Okay, so today's look is going to be a little bit more simple and natural. And to make it even easier, I'm not going to apply any winged liner. I've been doing winged eyeliner in almost all of my videos, so I decided that it was time to show you guys that you can do a very nice eye makeup without any eyeliner. So let's do it. Okay, so first I'm taking this eyeshadow here. It's called Peach Smoothie and it's by Makeup Geek. With the MAC 217 brush, I'm going to apply it in my crease and this is going to be my transition shade. You can also take it like in the outer corner here, it's okay if it's a little bit more messy. Just make sure that you don't take it all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm taking this eyeshadow here, it's called Morocco and it's again from Makeup Geek. And with the Sigma E36 brush, I'm going to apply it lower in the crease. I'm not going to take it as high as I took the peach smoothie. And this is going to just give a little bit more warmth to the eyes. And again with that MAC 217 brush that I used to apply the peach smoothie, I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and blended. It has no additional product in it. Okay, so now I want to give just a little bit more dimension to my eyes. So what I'm going to do is apply a darker shade just in the outer corner of my eyelids. And I'll be using the eyeshadow code Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. I'm going to do that with the Sigma E44 brush. And when you're doing this step, try not to create a very harsh lines. Let's say you see this line here, like right here. Try to avoid that. So if you see something like that, just blend it out. Okay, so it should look something like that. You don't want to take it all the way in the inner corner. Make sure that you keep it just in the outer half of your eyelid. I'm taking again that MAC 217 brush and I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and blended again. Now you can definitely apply one more layer of that darker shade in the outer corner and make it a little bit more dramatic. But I just want to give it a little bit 
softer today so I'm going to leave it like that okay so now I'm taking again that eyeshadow code Morocco and with the Sigma E30 brush I'm just going to run it underneath my lower lash line and again I'm not taking it all the way in the inner corner and here you want to just connect it with the other eyeshadows so you know it's connected <laughs> Okay, so now I want to give a little bit more brightness to my eyes and make them look a little bit more awake. And you can of course use a matte shade for that, but I just prefer to pop some shimmer there. I think it looks very pretty. So I'm taking this eyeshadow here again by Makeup Geek. It's called Shima Shima. And with a flat brush, I'm just going to apply it in the outer, not in the outer, in the inner half of my eyelid. <laughs> I'm also going to use the same eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes because it can be quite intense if you layer it. Okay, now I'm taking that eyeshadow that I use as my first transition shade and again with that MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to kind of extend the eyeshadows here upwards and this is going to make my eyes look a little bit more lifted. So you're starting here from the lower lash line and you're going to take it towards the end of your eyebrow. And by doing that, you're also blending out the outer edge here of the eyeshadow, so it's not a harsh line and, you know, it looks better. And again, make sure that you're not taking it all the way up to the brow bone. So I just curl my lashes and now I'm going to coat them with mascara. I'll be using the What's Your Type Black Mascara by The Bun. I hate myself. Okay, so now you can definitely stop here, but I'm just going to take it one step further and go on some poses. And I'll be wearing the Sweetheart Lashes in the style Charlotte. When you don't have eyeliner on, I would suggest you to wear lashes that they're gradually becoming longer towards the end. And this will actually elongate your eye and make it look, you know, like more lifted. Keep in mind that the thinner the bend of the lashes, the better. And if they're not blending like good here in the inner corner, what you're going to do is you're going to take some of your mascara on a small eyeliner brush and you're going to start doing some dots here. You're not actually going to draw a line. And this will actually going to make it look a little bit more faded. This one blended out pretty well, but I just wanted to show you this trick because I've been doing it for quite a lot of time now and I was able to blend the lashes with the thickest bend ever. Okay, so now that the eyes are complete, I'm going to finish up the face and today I don't feel like contouring and maybe just some bronzer and highlighter. So I'm going to take this bronzing powder here and this is the Maybelline Dream Sun bronzing powder with blush thing. And I'm using the Jessup Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. <laughs> For blush, I'll be using this one here. It's by Sigma and it's called Nymphel. And I'm highlighting my face with the Mary Luminizer by The Bun. I actually forgot to apply some pencil in my upper waterline, so I'm going to do it now. I'm using the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in shade Cocoa Bean. Okay, so now I'm going to line my lips and I'm using the Essence Lip Liner in shade Cute Pink. And then I'm going with the Lip Eclipse by Sigma in shade Rosette. So yeah, this is the finished look guys. It's very soft, very natural. I think that it's very important that you choose the right style of lashes that you're going to wear if you're not doing a winged liner. The ones I'm wearing right now are kind of gradually becoming longer towards the end and this simulating that eyeliner effect which I like very much. They actually make my eyes look longer and uplifted. Just find what works best for you and your eye shape. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to have the links down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye! Storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust.